What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima High Device Vids. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a Cydia tweak called Blocked. This is available on Cydia for $2.99. And basically, this tweak gives your device some very useful security features. And this tweak was actually released at JailbreakCon 2015. I was there at the event. It was a great event, and you know, definitely a great tweak to you know be released at a great event. And shout out to the creators of this tweak, Nikias Bassan and Willisa Archer, both very nice people. We have Nikias Bassan as the developer of this tweak. He's also a member of the Evaders Jailbreak team, so great tweak developer and security researcher. We also have Melissa Archer who came up with the idea for this great tweak. You know, very great idea, very good tweak. Definitely be sure to follow both of these people on Twitter. I'll be sure to put their Twitter accounts in the description down below, so make sure you go give them a follow. And with that being said, let's get right into this tweak. So there's two modes with this tweak. There's sleep mode and there's guest mode. So sleep mode allows you to basically disable portions of your device um, while you're sleeping. So basically, maybe you don't want somebody being able to use Touch ID to unlock your device while you're sleeping. Maybe you just want the passcode feature to be on. Maybe you don't want them, you know, accessing portions of your control center, you know, etc. Stuff like that. Maybe the notification center. You know, when you're sleeping, you can basically disable, you know, those things. And, you know, the guest mode is basically for when you're handing your phone to somebody to, I don't know, quickly maybe make a phone call or quickly do something. Maybe you don't want them accessing, you know, certain applications or, again, control center things, notification center. Maybe you just want them to access a few things. You know, guest mode allows you to do that. It allows you to disable portions of your device um, at your command. So how this works is you go into settings on your device after you have installed the tweak and then open up the blocked settings panel. And in here, you know, first is sleep mode. So now I'm just going to go over the settings for sleep mode. So there's two ways you could use sleep mode. You could use it manually or scheduled. Um, so basically manually is using an activator action and you could just tap on trigger here. And then you have the ability to use an activator action. I'm just going to use a triple press of the home button for the demonstration. And now whenever I triple press my home button, it basically enables or disables it. As you can see right there, it just disabled it. And then if I do it again, um, it will enable it as you can see it right there. And then you have scheduled, and basically scheduled is automatic. You'd never even have to think about it. You could just set a uh, a schedule based on your you know sleep schedule. So you could go in here, you know, customize any time you want. As you can see right now, it's 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. But again, you could customize this to anything you want, and then it's going to automatically enable um, sleep mode, you know, from this time to this time. And in terms of actually configuring what's disabled during sleep mode, that's what these sections are down here. As you can see right here, block touch ID, you could block control center toggles, you could block notification center, access from the lock screen, or, you know, even when your device is unlocked, uh, you know, during the sleep mode time. So as you can see right here, I have block touch ID enabled, and I enabled uh, block airplane mode and block Wi-Fi. Now before I demonstrate this tweak, I just want to show you what my device, you know, how it behaves normally. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable the uh, manual trigger to completely disable sleep mode. And again, now I'm going to show you how my device normally behaves before I demonstrate the tweak. So as you can see right here, it's 2 p.m. right now, and the timer down here is set from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. So again, I'm not included within that right now, so again, the tweak is currently disabled. So let's just go to the lock screen here, and as you can see, you know, by default, I could toggle everything. I could toggle my control center, you know, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, everything. And of course, I could unlock my device with Touch ID as well, as you can see right there. Now, if I were to enable the tweak, I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, the manual because, you know, that's just the easiest way to do it. Now that the tweak's enabled, or now that guest mode is enabled, I could go to my lock screen. And as you can see right here, if I open up Control Center and try to toggle things, as you can see, nothing works. I cannot enable my airplane mode or my Wi-Fi. However, as you can see, other toggles, because I didn't you know, toggle those to be disabled, they still work. But again, anything that I disabled doesn't work. Same thing goes for Touch ID. As you can see right here, I cannot unlock my device with Touch ID. I have to actually use my passcode in order to unlock. And again, that's a security feature, so somebody doesn't you know, take your hand when you're sleeping and try to use it to unlock your device. So that's pretty much the sleep mode option. And again, you know, the scheduled option works the exact same way, you know, whenever it hits 12 a.m., that, that will automatically enable and everything will be disabled until 8 a.m. Uh, so let's just go ahead and scroll past these options. And now I'm going to show you guest mode. So basically how guest mode works is you have to use an activator action just from the beginning. That's a requirement. So uh, here's the trigger for it. So let's just go ahead and use a short hold on the home button. 
Now let's go back here. So basically how it works is uh, as soon as you perform your action, I'm just going to go ahead and do mine now. Sure, hold on the home button. As you can see, it enables guest mode just like that. Now guest mode is going to stay enabled until you lock your device and then unlock it. So that's how it works. Uh, again, after you unlock, it will be kind of reset and disabled. So basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to block access to specific applications. And the same thing goes, you could also block access to control center toggles, notification center. As you can see, you could also uh, block access to portions of the phone application. Now let's just scroll up here to select blocked apps. And if we just scroll down here, as you can see, I toggled on messages and notes. But again, you could scroll through all the apps on your device and just enable the toggle here. And as you can see, it's going to block access to that specific application. So now let's go ahead and give this a test. So first things first, let's open up the messages application. And as you can see right here, it just doesn't work. It just does not open. Same thing goes with notes. But again, the applications that I didn't disable, as you can see, those work just fine. And if I just go back into settings here and show you down here for phone privacy, as you can see, I do have blocked favorites and block contacts both enabled. So now when I go into my phone application, as you can see down here, both contacts and favorites are completely grayed out and they're not able to be tapped at all. So again, it did disable the portions of the phone app that I selected. Also, as you can see right here, block notification center um, entirely. As you can see right here, I'm not able to access my notification center at all. And again, if I wanted to disable guest mode, all I would have to do is lock my device and then just go ahead and unlock it. So again, as soon as I unlock my device, it's going to disable guest mode. As you can see up at the top, it gives me a notification saying guest mode disabled. And now, you know, as you can see, everything is accessible that I disabled. I'm able to do, you know, everything that I'm you know, normally able to do with my device. It's all accessible. So again, in terms of, you know, how you use this is, you know, say, say someone asks you to, you know, use your phone just for a second to maybe, you know, quickly call somebody, you know, using your phone application uh, on the keypad over here. And, you know, basically what you do is you unlock your device and then once you're in it, you just quickly, you know, discreetly enable um, guest mode. And then as you can see right there, it's enabled. Then you hand it to them. And then, you know, when they go to call somebody or do whatever they want to do, as you can see right here, they cannot access, you know, any of the things they can access, you know, whatever you disabled, whether it be applications or portions of the phone app. Again, they're not going to be able to access any of these things until you lock your device and then you unlock your device and then it's going to disable guest mode entirely. And again, when you do unlock your device, it will tell you up at the top here that it has been disabled, as you can see right there. And that just about wraps up this video. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles in Google+. Also make sure to follow my personal Twitter account, and all that will be linked down below in the description. And also make sure to follow the creators of this tweak. Once again, we have uh, Nikias Bassan, aka Pimskax. He's a member of the Evaders Jailbreak team and a great tweak developer. We also have Melissa Archer who came up with the idea for this great tweak, you know, really good idea. And both of their Twitter accounts will be in the description down below. Make sure to go follow them. Now with that being said, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.